Wow, guys, I can't even. So I just got the most amazing revelation because Jesus, well, through Jesus Christ, he was giving me a message when I was in the car on the way to Myrtle Beach. And I am blown away. So do you know the scripture? And I don't even know where the scripture is, but I, do you know the scripture where he says, um, I will get rid of your heart of stone and give you a new heart of flesh. Well, when Jesus came over me and he started prophesying to me, and talking about it and he said do you see what I'm doing my child I'm drawing the line so you have people out there that's literally preaching every day they've laid down their lives for Jesus they're still preaching the gospel they're um, they're you know waiting on Jesus's return reading the words and everything um, but they're still professing that you have to do this and that and this and that to make it to heaven so he gave me a revelation that verse where he said when you truly come to him and believe that it is his work on the cross finished your faith in him that he died for you that he rose on the third day that is what born again in the spirit means because when he gives you, he gets rid of that heart of stone and he gives you that heart of flesh, which is why once saved, always saved because he changes your heart. So when he gives you that heart of flesh, that heart of flesh is knowledge that his flesh is the one that died and bled on the cross so we may be saved. I am like blown away and then he gave me I think it was 1 Corinthians 2 5 something about not the wisdom of man but the wisdom of God that he's giving me guys he literally explained it what that verse is talking about when he said that um, you know he gives you the heart of flesh that's his flesh on the cross that is literally what he's saying. There's nothing that you can do because when you try to make it about yourself and your works and you're not fully relying on him and just what he did for you, then you become self-righteous. Then you become prideful because you're relying on yourself to save you. And you know what he said to me? He said, that is insulting. He said that infuriates him and it's insulting because and it breaks his heart because everything he had to do for us on the cross all the torture the beating the nails everything he did for us on the cross yet you still have people saying you have to follow this law you have to do this you have to do that you know how insulting that is to Jesus? He just told me those words that insults me because of everything he did on that cross was not enough, was not enough because people are still relying on the law. And when you truly love him and when you, when he gives you that heart, I'm gonna cry because it was such a beautiful revelation. When he gives you that heart of flesh, he gives you knowledge. He gives you that knowledge that it is his faith, that is your faith and what he did for you on the cross alone. And that is his grace. And that is how, that he said that is the key to the kingdom of heaven. He said that is the key. It is his finished work alone on the cross. So the ones that are saying you have to do this and you have to do that, he said, those people do not know me. He said, they may profess with their mouths and they talk about me and they lay their lives down for me and they preach the gospel every day. But do they really know me? When you're born again, he gives you that knowledge that flesh when he takes that heart of stone and gives you a heart of flesh that is his flesh that died on the cross for you so please guys put down your condemnation your obedience to the laws and walking in not just 
faith, but walking in works. Guys, you're going, and, and this is another thing he said. He said, when you come to me in, in um, remorse, because you love him, right? You love Jesus Christ with all your heart. A true believer loves Jesus and you want to please Jesus and you don't want to upset Jesus, which is why I go to him for everything, including Guillermo driving. We go to him for everything. And when you truly love him and you feel like you've upset him or something, you go to him and you say, Lord, you know, I'm so sorry if I upset you. And you know, he corrects you like a father, but you're not losing your salvation. He's already done it for you on the cross, but you want to obey his commands because you love him. So it's natural and normal to feel remorse about something but it's not condemnation because he didn't come to, he came to save the world, not condemn the world. So he told me that is natural for you to feel that way and to feel sad, but it's not, okay, I did this, I must repent. I did this, I must repent. I did this, I must repent. Guys, you're always going to fall. Sorry, my phone overheated. <laughs> but you're always gonna fall short, guys. That's what, that's what that means. You're always gonna fall short, so. Do not rely on yourselves to save you. Only rely on Jesus Christ to save you. It is nothing that we do that can make it to heaven. It is literally trusting in that he died for us alone on the cross. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Have a blessed